You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. Killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong. Someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you with any offense. Ah, you're a good one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble, he thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn, Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey.
stranger. You need odds, hands, junk, or knickknacks. You've come to the right place. Let's see what you have. Here's what I got.
These sell guns over by the foolish shop. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant! Ha <laughs> ha! I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I think I deserve more than that. I suppose I could part with a little more. Here's another 100 caps. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. What happened to him? He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, with claws to snap steel beams. A fall crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, It'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit.
that. Unless you're hounding for a green suntan, I suggest we get a move on. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. 
It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Really, it's no trouble. Well, I hope you know how much it means to me that Grandpa George can finally rest in peace. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget. I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island pulled them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. I'll make that trapper pay. All right, then. Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. Thank you.